What is going on, folks? It is K Spade the Prospect, back today with a brand new episode of Welcome to Sin City. Folks, this is a brand new season, and it is the season that we put the rest of the nation on notice. Like, we are demanding respect, and this team is starting this season off doing battle against the number four ranked UCLA Bruins. I see you on the field. is rocking here today folks filled to capacity with just a few short years ago nobody was even coming out to see these rebels coach k spade told the world what he would do and he is doing it here and today's game is not going to be easy at all for a multitude of reasons not just because it's a super talented team on the other sideline but there's some new faces out here for the rebels gone is jenny stanton into the new quarterback of this system, Armani Rogers, the red shirt sophomore. In real life, this dude was one of the most celebrated recruits of the Rebels, a four-star athlete. The Rebels don't get a whole lot of four-star athletes, so it's a lot of expectation with this kid, and man, he fell in the hands of a great coach. Coach K. Spade gonna do the right thing with this kid, I already know. But let's get down on the field, as you guys can see. The Rebels are already putting the drive together. Lexington Thomas back for his senior season. A lot of expectation for this kid as well, and so far in this game, the young guy, Armani Rogers, looks like he's ready for this moment. You know what I'm saying? This is a big game. This is his first ever start against a top five opponent. First game of the season. It don't look like there's no jitters or any of that. Just getting it done. Now, we missed the point of the game. Lexington Thomas limped off the field. Don't look to be too serious of an injury, but we will get an update on that. So enter a very qualified running back in it, Xavier Campbell. Zay heading to the end zone, looking like he broke the plane, and they're going to say he's just shy of the end zone. They go back on first and goal. Pitch it out to Zay, who gets in the end zone for the score. I put my soul in this shit with this ink all on my skin. Think before you ink, I got this ink all on my hands. Man, I'm growing up and I'm changing. Don't try to knock me out of my plans. The blocking was A1. Looks like we will get Lexington Thomas back in the game at some point. But first, we go to the studio for an update. Folks, this is college football at its finest. Upsets will happen. Upsets are happening. And Louisville, who was number seven, fall to Notre Dame. Cal falls to San Diego State. The Wolfpack is out the gate with a dub. And Ole Miss escapes a game that everybody figured they was going to win easily. The impact player for this game is none other than the UCLA quarterback Josh Rosen. This guy right here is getting his name mentioned in some Heisman circles. Guys are expecting this kid to go to the next level and be one of those quarterbacks in the NFL that has a long career. So this right here is definitely probably the toughest opponent this young Rebel team has ever faced. Probably ever. So let's get into it. 7-0 game right now. Rosen and his offense on the field marching. Third and 13 face right here. He's going to check it down. I don't really like that read, and I know Bo is a hell of a back, but you're going to need him to get more than the 11 he got. And UCLA comes out and has to punt the football off. Now the Rebel offense takes the field, and they try to establish the run game, and the Bruins are right there. They're ready. Stopping the run game, and right here you see Fred Brown laying out defensively, getting the deflection, and the Rebel offense goes three and out. Josh Rosen back on the field. I know he wants to answer the call. Throwing some risky passes right here. Luckily, that was just a tackle as soon as the football got there. Could have easily been an INT. Comes back, goes to the air, and it's got to be a miscommunication in the Rebel secondary. This kid was wide open. First down for the Bruins, and they are inside the red zone for the first time today. Rosen is super dangerous when he gets close to the end zone. He's very methodical with his passes. Comes back right here, completes the pass to put him just outside the five. They keep it on the ground. Bro, Olo with a tough five-yard run is going to get him right outside the end zone. So tough to stop right here. They turn around and give it back to Bowen. Bowen stop. Junior in on the play, bringing him down for a one-yard loss. Bruins might have to go to the air. Second to go, they actually pitch it out to Bow. He's got a lead block and gets into the end zone. Bruins strike back. We're going to have a great game here today, folks. You better be glad you're right here tuned in. This is going to be a game. We got another update from the studio, and folks, it is more 
upsets to be found. The Hokies go down to ECU. ECU is one of those teams that will catch you slipping every year. App State and ECU, I'm scared of both of those teams earlier in the year. We get back to this game right here, folks. The Rebels are keeping it on the ground. They try to go read option, and Armani Rogers is brought down for a loss on the play, bringing up a third and short. And you don't see the Rebels go no huddle offense a lot, but they go no huddle right here. They must have saw something they want to take advantage of. Third and short. Play action pass. Rogers drops back. The pressure is on, and he is sacked. Sacked for a big time loss. 10 yard loss on the play. Almost a safety. And you got your punter punting from. You know, the shadow of his own goalpost, and you're going to give the Bruins a short field. Oh, my God. Theo Howard not only making the catch, but making some defenders pay after the catch, picking up the yards, getting his team closer to the end zone. They come back and pick up another 10 or 11 on this play, and this is this is when they are dangerous. This is when they are dangerous. And Bo Olo gets in the end zone, second score of the day. The Bruins come back fast and score again, taking the lead in this game, 14-7. This is the point where Coach Spade has to settle this young Rebel team down. You are okay. You're just down one score. Let's not panic. Let's not abandon the game plan. Let's do the things that we know we do. And let's see if it works. I like the call to keep it on the ground for first down. The pressure was on on second. Quick read for Armani Rogers. This kid took a major hit at the end of that play, but was able to get the pass off. LT did the rest. First and 10 for the Rebels. They go back to the air. Makai Stevenson is the guy they are expecting big things from this year. They say that Makai actually got faster than he was when they first recruited this kid, and he was already the fastest offensive player on this team. They're expecting big things from these guys. Coach Spade is one of those coaches who will continue to push for greatness from his players. And so far, man, you can't argue with the results. In the two years prior to this season, the team has gotten better every single year. First and 10 for Rodgers, dropping back the pass, throwing a beautiful pass over the Kendall Keys, making a tough catch with the defender on his back. The Rebels are in the red zone. Rodgers with the quick read into the flats is Zay Campbell falling forward, running over Bruins, and he's going to be around the two-yard line. I don't want to give them a consolation prize, but the Rebels don't look afraid of the Bruins at all. First and goal, they hand it out. Put LT gets in the end zone for the score. This ink all on my skin. Think before you ink, I got this ink all on my hands. Man, I'm growing up and I'm changing. Don't try to knock me out of my plans. Beautiful game so far, folks. We got another studio update, and the upsets continue. Number 10 ranked UGA Bulldogs get embarrassed at the hand of the South Carolina Gamecocks. There's more. The number 5 ranked Oklahoma team falls at the hands of the Volunteers. Upsets, upsets, and more upsets. And this is a stadium full of fans out here hoping that their UNLV running Rebels can add to the upset list after today's game against the Bruins. After the first down on the screen play, we jump ahead in the drive where it's second and short, and they try to go back to the ground. Junior in on the tackle. Junior very active so far in this game. He's another player playing with that chip on his shoulder. A lot of naysayers, a lot of guys saying he's not deserving of the notoriety he's been receiving. So a lot of kids on the field today with something to prove, and that's usually when you see some of the best football you're going to see. Stevens on the ground, three-yard carry. I believe Junior was in on the tackle again. That's his eighth, his second for a loss. The kid is super active. Second and seven right here, big time hit on Bo. Somebody better check on Bo and make sure he all right. Third and seven, Rosen, beautiful pass, goes to his halfback. That's going to get him up around the five-yard line, and once again, the drive continues. Rebels having a very difficult time getting the Bruins off the field on this drive, and it's costing them. I can see some of these defensive guys with their hands on their knees, but Bailey L., the returning backer who had 10 sacks for this team last season, getting to Rosen right here, just taking everything in his battery pack and pushing through. That's what you got to do when you tie it. And that defense right there is going to hold the Bruins to three points on that possession. So at the end of the first half, got a 17-14 game out here. And even though the Rebels are still trailing, I feel like they're in this game. And I don't know if anybody saw this game being this close. The passing yards are within three or four yards. And they actually both put up the exact same amount of rushing yards for the first half. Both of these teams are bringing Second half football is upon us. The Bruin offense starts off with possession. And we want to see if the Rebels can come out and make a stop. Rosen tries Tim Huff to bat. That should have been a pick. Rosen probably doesn't want to try Huff. This guy solidified his greatness on the field last season, putting his name in the record books here as the most interceptions in a season for anybody that's ever rocked this scarlet and gray. 
third and ten for the Bruins. They decide to go screenplay. They check it down. Stevens had a blocker. He's quickly swarmed by Scarlet Jerseys. He's brought down three yards shy of the first down marker. The Bruins are going to have to punt it off. And with this drive right here, the Rebels give themselves an opportunity to possibly tie or even take a late lead against a UCLA team that nobody in the nation thought they had a chance of beating. Nobody. Third and short. Operating from the gun, Armani Rogers doesn't like what he's seeing, and basically UCLA is bringing safeties in the box. He's changing the play. This is a first-year starter. Quick read, y'all. Throwing it into the flats. Lexington Thomas getting the first down and more before he's brought down. UNLV operating around the middle of the field. They go play action pass. Rogers rolls out, surveys the field, decides to keep it, gets the first, gets out of bounds, take a hit, but I guess they're assuming that that hit was legal. I don't know. You could have... Possibly threw a flag on that play. And again, we see Rodgers changing the play for the defense. First year starter. So far, man, this kid, Armani Rodgers, looks like he's ready. I see you. I'm liking this kid. Now, he does have one interception this game that wasn't shown. It was the end of the first half. Rebels just took a shot, threw a Hail Mary pass up. It was one of those plays that if you get a pick, you hate that it goes on the QB stats because he really was just taking a shot at the end zone. Fourth down. They elect to go for it. Armani's going to keep it. Breaking the tackle. Falling forward. Getting the first down after going forward on fourth and short. This team wants to score on this drive. Armani Rogers breaking another tackle. Falling forward. Picking up six on the play. One thing you can say, the kid is tough. He looks to be pretty damn smart, too. Definitely making the right reads. Third and short, Zay Campbell gets in the end zone for the score. Beautiful, beautiful play. And let me tell you, the Rebels are playing out here. They are playing. 21-17 is your score with 30 seconds to go before we're in the fourth quarter. And Rosen takes another strike. It's about he keeps trying Tim Huff. That's a dangerous way to live. That's living life on the edge. Third and short, Bruins go across the middle. Big time catch by the receiver. First and 10, UCLA, the drive continues. We jump ahead, folks. Fourth quarter has just started. The Bruins are trailing by four. They tried to keep it with Rosen and Bailey is in the backfield making plays. This kid has been doing this for the last two years. Beautiful play right there. Rosen had a, a pitch option. I don't know if he thought he could make it. It was a short play or what? Fourth down, Bruins go for it. Rosen throws a strike across the middle, hits his target, gets the first to continue the drive. Both coaches getting a little more aggressive in the play calling, and I like it. Second and short, Stevens bounces outside. Scarlet Jersey's over there, bruh. You're not going anywhere. He's brought down after picking up two yards on the play. Second and six later in that drive, they hand it off. Bo knows beast mode, trucking a defender, running through the arm tackle of another to give the Bruins the go-ahead lead. This score late in the game is going to give the Bruins a three-point lead. If the defense can possibly get UNLV off the field and score again, this game is over. And nobody's really going to care how good of a fight the Rebels put up. They're only going to remember the winner of this game, and both teams want that. Both teams want that. LT comes out and shows a stiff arm that I didn't really know he had in his arsenal. 11-yard pickup, but a very quiet day for Lexington Thomas. Under 40 yards rushing so far on the day. And part of it is because they are trying so hard to stop LT that this sophomore is chopping his defense up. Second and short, they give it to LT. He's got the blocks, puts his head down and bowls forward. Four by seven or eight on the play. LT is really not a in-between the tackles type of guy. So when he's gashing you up the middle, that, that speaks volumes for it being a long physical game and these defenders just being tired. That's really what it means right now. Same thing, I just said the guy didn't even have 40. He's now over 60, one minute on the clock. Third down and a half with Zay Campbell in the backfield and he is stuffed. They sent the Mike Backer who got to Campbell three yards in the backfield. They are going to force the Rebels to go for the field goal. The field goal kick is up. It is good. That kick ties this game up with 20 seconds on the clock. The clock management for the Rebels on that last drive was superb. Still, they haven't won this game yet. 20 seconds on the clock. Rosen is the type of player you want on the field for some last-minute heroics. We jump ahead. Three seconds on the clock. Rosen rolls out. Throws a strike. Deep to the corner of the field. And Julius over there for the deflection. That deflection is going to end regulation, but it will not end this game. We're taking this game to OT. We got a Buffalo Wild Wings type of game out here, and any team can win.
Bruins win the coin toss. Of course, if you win in overtime, most teams elect to defer. You want to see if you can get a stop on your opponent, and then you can come out, and a field goal will win this game. But on second and ten, they blitz. Armani Rogers sees the blitz, throws it into the flex. Lexington Thomas scores on the second play of overtime. Beautiful play. Give the credit to Armani Rogers. This kid has been reading this defense correctly all game, and now the pressure is on the Bruins. They got to make a play. Rosen on first and ten. Throws it. Tries to put a little touch on it to get it over the hands of Dalton Baker, but he could not. Deflect it. Second down. Rosen drops back. Throws a strike across the middle, and that's a great catch. The receiver holds on to it. They're going to be inside the red zone, but closer to the student section where Sam Boyd Stadium is at its loudest. And that's a sack by the Rebel defense. That's another new face. Cameron Carr with his eighth tackle. His first sack of the game. Pinned his ears back and had a straight path to Rosen and blow him up for a loss on the play. Later in that drive on third and eight, Rosen surveying the field, throwing the pass to a receiver who makes the catch, but he is brought down shy of the first down marker. It's a beautiful stop by Moten over there. It is going to be fourth and two. No time on the clock. Got to get in the end zone. Rosen drops back. He's got time to erase the field, throws to the corner of the end zone, and his pass is deflected. The pass is deflected. Rosen found this guy. Beautiful pass. That's the same pass he just threw in real life for the win. But he won't get a win today. Draw the curtains on the Bruins. The Rebels start this season off in an instant classic game. An unranked team coming out with the first game of the season. Beating a top five ranked opponent. And even though we didn't get the game on the ground, we are accustomed to seeing from Lexington Thomas. We definitely got a big ball of game from him. 80 plus receiving yards, 70 plus rushing yards. To me, I'm giving the game ball to the first year starter, Armani Rogers. Beautiful game from that kid. He correctly read this defense all day. Rebel Pride. Well, folks, I'm K Spade the Prospect signing off from Sam Boyd Stadium. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. This season is going to be lit, I'm telling you. If you're new to my channel, go ahead and hit subscribe. If you're new to the series, fam, go ahead and hit subscribe. Also, click the bell for notifications so you'll know when a new video goes up. I'm kind of having fun with this series, so expect these videos to start rolling out a little bit faster. Hope you guys don't miss them. I'm out the next time, y'all. Peace.